Hello beautiful souls, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, this message is for you. This is a timeless reading and so whenever you are going to find this reading, this video, it will be the right timing on your journey. Gemini, I have some uh, interesting messages from Spirit for you and I wrote down a couple of messages here. Um, so, I'm, I did get very strongly this message that you are out of the shadow and this shadow has something to do with unresolved grief, unresolved trauma into the light and this light, it's, it feels like a very fun, abundant, loving and very expensive light. There is an entrance through your ascendant. I don't know if Gemini is your ascendant, let me know in the comment box down below, but if you are Gemini ascendant, then the, there are some important messages here for you. Also, the next message that I received, I received this metaphor to open the aperture. Speaking about cameras, when you open the aperture, you are able to see a wider, a better, a whole view. I did feel this amazing energy out of the shadow into the light and I saw the hermit energy. The hermit is Virgo energy but what I'm getting is that the hermit is this solo journey that you may have been embarked on in the past. I heard gestation period. You may have isolated yourself, not wanting to go out, meet people. Right now I feel with this Leo uh, surge of energy, right now when I'm recording the video we are in Leo season and this Leo season is helping you gain a lot of fun, energy, and a lot of confidence as well. All right, let's get into your spread. I'm using the Star Codes Astro Oracle, and we're going to flow with these beautiful energies for you, Gemini. I'm really getting your stepping into a much positive, confident, joyful energy, because with this Hermit energy, I feel like you have resolved some specific grief and trauma that you have been holding in your body for quite a long time. Let's see how this plays out. You may be a photographer or you have this passion of taking pictures. That is the case. This is just another confirmation for you. What do we have for Gemini Spirit Guides? What are the most important messages and guidance that Gemini needs to hear right now? Second house, resources. So, if you are a Gemini rising, for example, your second house will be Cancer. Your second house has a lot to do with your, um, with your money, possessions, but also with your self-worth. I feel, I feel that things are shifting in your second house. You are, you're going to be able to manifest money faster into your life and your resources, I heard, they are expanding. We have third house communication. Maybe you haven't been able to communicate with the people around you to express your needs, uh, to express your emotions very easy. And so I'm getting with this third house is that your communication skills are going to be emphasized, are going to be magnified, and you are going to and you're going to be the heart of the party, I heard. Huh. So we have 40 and 41 here. And then we have Solar Calm. Clarify, wow. I don't think I've ever gotten this card before. See, I'm getting beautiful uh, Gemini that things are being clarified, things are being clear in your space. Uh, once again, out of the shadow into the light, which I'm getting the source, I'm getting healing, I'm getting happiness. Once again, I'm getting a lot of happiness for you. Gemini, things are shifting for the better for you. I do want to read a couple of paragraphs from the Solar Calm. It seems to be important for you. Let's see. When the sun is calm, with few sunspots or solar flares, its steady energy is quiet and soothes any turbulences in our solar system. The volume is turned down on all the other aspects of your astrological chart. Telescopes see farther into space. Interesting, because I was getting this uh, open the aperture. Plant growth slows down on Earth, but the arts and creative process often blossom. Just appreciate the deep, energizing quiet of this time. Work for steady progress and play for long game. Listen to your muse and support the arts. 
take a creative approach and work towards positive change within the systems that are that are now in place with gentle steady pressure find like minds and grow those deep connections in romantic relationships hold hands and look for places of quiet refuge together build relationships now that will help you to manifest needed changes when the tide turns and the sun activates meditation helps turn down the noise of the outer world and listen with clarity to the knowing within let go of the details of the story and feel the call to spirit to connection and the, and the interconnectedness of all existence in this quiet clarity you can see far away to the distant stars and come to understand the overarching patterns i'm truly feeling like your spirit guides are guiding you to find the clarity within to find that beautiful still quiet space that will help you tremendously in healing this unresolved grief that i was channeling in my uh, meditation but also finding the clarity finding the answer finding the sun right within yourself i feel the angels and ancestors need to be worked with right now for you let's see what do we have from your angels and ancestors gemini gemini broken arrow embrace the energy of peace yes solar calm peace I'm getting the uh i'm getting the hermit once again there is this element of you finally finding that peace energy that calm that surrender energy that grief that you are not able to resolve it's now resolved and this is conducive to you co-creating this peace energy really beautiful and autumn release the old and rest i'm getting one more card let's see what else is to come to okay this is one of my favorite cards from this deck star ancestor follow the voice of your soul this is the most important guidance that you have to always remember when you are in awareness and you follow the voice of your soul follow the voice of your intuition you can never go wrong you can never find yourself in the in the wrong place or with the wrong people you're following the voice of your soul and you're finding that doorway towards happiness towards confidence towards healing towards a life worth living wow that's really beautiful gemini tell us through what kind of shadow work you've been through what have you gained because i feel like you've gained a lot of wisdom you've gained a lot of peace you've gained a lot of clarity at the bottom high priestess harness mystic powers move in new direction i'm going to use the 78 doors the tarot of the 78 doors and speaking about entrances and doors and uh, opening the aperture this deck is definitely relevant let's see for gemini spirit guides what are the most important messages that need to come through four of wands yes this is this beautiful solid foundation this happiness being with the being with your tribe feeling this sense of peace feeling this sense of belonging um having around you the people that you need to have in your life right now that are supportive that are that are loving that are compassionate that are kind for some of you you are thinking seriously to maybe build a family with somebody else or you already have a family and you are making plans into extending this beautiful family extending extending these energies of happiness and peace we have a lot of fours on the table by the way and what i'm getting with this number four is that you have been working really hard on yourself or on a project on your life in general and you're going to see the rewards the benefits of that hard work it's coming gemini it feels really good it does what's coming to an end for gemini in the near future what's coming to an end 
the Hierophant. You are the master, you are the teacher, you are the guide. You are the guide for yourself, but most likely for other people. I feel this mentor energy that comes with the Hierophant. Okay, for others I'm getting actually that you have been through some kind of school, you have been studying uh, something, and now you are finally, you're finally getting your diploma, graduating basically. Um, for others, there's some spiritual work involved with this study, and now you finally feel like you've gained the information, the clarity that you need to maybe be of service in your community and with the people around you. The lambs here are being highlighted. I don't know why, maybe lambs are your spirit animal. Uh, the lambs are extremely gentle and they, and they hold so much space, so much healing. What is coming and you're not seeing? We have four of pentacles. Look at these fours. I like the fours though. I do like it because this tells me that you are in a very grounded, stable and loyal place. Very protective too. So you may not see that somebody maybe is plotting a plan. I don't feel like this plan is anything negative at all. No, but for others, I'm really getting that if you're in a relationship and you've been with this person for a long time, this person is thinking to ask, ask for your hand. This person is making plans how to ask you in marriage. For others, I'm really getting that somebody may have, may have hidden feelings for you and they are really going back and forth how to tell you. I'm getting another story here where somebody is watching your progress. It can be a work environment, it can be a family environment, and they have an offer for you. We'll clarify this energy. What's the challenge for you, beautiful Gemini? Wow, look at this force. Oh, this is amazing. 444. Check out the angel number 444. There's a message there for you. 444444 for you. <laughs> Four of Cups. This challenge is just perceived. That's what I'm feeling. Um, Spirit wants you to run with these energies, with this Leo energy that I'm getting here. Uh, don't settle for less. There's a lot more that you can gain from whatever you are involved in, okay? Do not settle for less. Uh, you may feel though, for some of you, I'm getting that you have been maybe solo for quite a while and now, and you don't maybe see yourself in a relationship or, or you feel like you don't know how to be in a relationship anymore. You're going to see when the right person will step into your life, how easy and natural that will be, okay? What's uh, the advice for Gemini Spree, guys? Wow, the sun. I kept hearing the source. This is the advice. Rejoice. Have fun. Enjoy this, uh, this period in your life. You are safe. You are protected. You deserve to be in the spotlight. You deserve to be loved. Right? You deserve, you deserve to be in the center of the world. Huh. Leo energy. Likely outcome. <laughs> the chariot. Victory, accomplishments. After, of course, a challenging period, you may be in the arts, you may be a musician, you may be an artist of some kind. You are going to gain a lot of rewards, a lot of applause. I heard a lot of reverence. I don't know what's that about, but... One of the best readings I've done for you so far, and look at that, six of wands. More being in the spotlight, having this beautiful reputation, people admire you, you know, people appreciate what you bring to the table. Five of swords, seven of swords, nine of swords. Wow, I'm really, really getting this major phoenix rising. You have been to the depths, to the depths of your shadows. Look at that, that's what I'm getting, beautiful Gemini, and you're being renewed. This is you finding that entrance, right? Through your ascendant, finding that portal to a new beginning, and you are freeing yourself. 
from this unresolved grief. You are healing, you are making space. Look at that, for some of you, you are an artist. You love to paint. You are being appreciated in so many ways. Wow. I'm going to get the Osho Tarot out here and I'm going to clarify a couple of things. I want to clarify the Four of Wands, the most important message and energy on the table. Seven of Swords. <laughs> wow, letting go. Eight of Cups and Ten of Freaking Cups. I love this. See, you've let go of whatever this mask was, whatever this dishonesty, you are living in your truth. And when we have very pure intentions, when we come from a very harmonious and congruent intention, then the, the universe has no choice but to bring all this peace and happiness and healing in our lives. And I feel like this snake is a part of yourself, Gemini, that you have been uncovering, that you have been integrating, because I feel this beautiful integration of your shadows. You've let go of what no longer serves you, right? You've let go of empty emotional cups. You've let go of grief, trauma. I heard imposter syndrome for some of you, and you're finally able to swim with the dolphins, right? You're finally able to bring in this harmony that we have the free will to experience. We don't have to repeat the same old programs of suffering, of fear, of, uh, of survival mindset. No, we can choose to integrate our shadow and to live in harmony. And that is exactly what you did. Really beautiful here, really beautiful. I want to clarify the Four of Pentacles, what is coming and you're not seeing. The Master Totality, Two of Cups, yeah, and Guidance. I'm telling you, for some of you, it's somebody's planning to ask you in marriage. They have a lot of guidance from their from their ancestors and angels it's somebody that truly appreciates you that truly sees how far you've come i'm getting this is you the master and two of cups it is a soulmate energy totality it's somebody that feels like you complete them that you add so much to their life to their happiness and i feel like you feel the same so let me see I want to get a little more. Can you tell us a little more about this person? If if it is about a person, if not, what is about this union and connection? Tell us a little more about this energy, please. Four of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. They can be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Seven of Cups, no longer confused, no longer uh, having way too many options, no longer not knowing how to go about it. They are just in the space of planning what's the best way to go about it. And the judgment, it's renewal, it's a last call to action, it's also spiritual awakening. And I feel like it's their, it's their ancestors waking them up and saying, hey, this is the time. If you want this person, we are with you, we are guiding you, and we are making things happen. I feel like this divine timing is approaching. That's what I heard. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Four of Wands again. Yeah, I told you it's a perceived uh, challenge because, because somebody is coming in with this beautiful cup of love, somebody very pure-hearted, somebody with pure intentions, I heard, and the Ten of Pentacles, yeah. This is your legacy, this is a major, maybe a major accomplishment when it comes about your work, your money, your uh, financial matter. I'm just seeing this person that, you know, forgot how to be in a relationship, that it's kind of okay being on its own, but with these Four of Cups, I'm getting some boredom here. 
I'm getting somebody that wants more, but they don't know how to how to ask for it. First step would be to get out of that chair and go out and try to connect with people, right? And also being vulnerable. When we are creating solid foundations, solid connections, we have to be vulnerable in our in our expressions. We have to open the door to true love, right? We have to come from a place of trust. Tell me about the sun. What's the guidance? Hmm. Interesting. So we have three of swords and it fell on broken arrow. And then we have ace of pentacles, new opportunities and beginnings and two of cups again. We have two of cups here. So the advice is to allow yourself to be happy, to transmute whatever this heartbreak was, this energy of grief, the sun is the center of the universe. So it symbolizes, it symbolizes your world, right? It symbolizes how you want to create your world. It symbolizes also the ego. So the advice is to, to let the wall down, to open yourself up to happiness, to joy, to this boost of trust and confidence and to connect because we are all one, right? And I feel like spirit is bringing in amazing, inspirational, loving, compassionate people in your life. You just have to open the door and welcome them in. Let's see, the chariot, likely outcome. <laughs> Speaking about trust. Wow. Success, possibilities, adventure, trust. Please trust, beautiful Gemini. There's success, there's a lot, a lot of happiness, a lot of accomplishments, a lot of applause. Once again, I'm getting, for example, if you're working on an artistic project, trust yourself, put your art out there. Trust that whatever you are putting out in the universe is going to be welcomed with open arms. It's going to be appreciated. Look at the possibilities. Look, see, I'm getting again, open the aperture. See the whole picture. See all the possibilities that you have available. At your doorstep, I heard. An adventure. This is really my inner child card. You are being called to let go, to ride with the sun, right? Because amazing things are happening in your life. Just trust, trust in yourself. Let's get an angel answer for you. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this reading. Let me know in the comment box down below. Tell me more about your story. Where do you find yourself? Because I feel like you have worked through some major shadow parts of yourself and I'm feeling this beautiful, peaceful, harmonious, coherent energy that's coming from you. And I'm so happy for you, Gemini. If you have a question, uh, ask out loud or in your mind. And let's see the answer from Spirit. Ready? Okay. Look for a sign. Be assertive. Yes. And yes. Be assertive, beautiful souls. Look, look for signs, look for symbols. Uh, always uh, be aware of how the universe is speaking to you and try to tap into your intuition much more often, okay? Let's see, in closing, what is the final message and guidance for Gemini? Anything else that needs to come through? Wow. Skywriting, you are writing a new chapter of your life. You are writing a new contract, universal contract, I heard. Wow. Let's see, and I'm seeing a feather here. You may be seeing a feather on your path. Know that that is spirit speaking to you, trying to get your attention. Look at that, revelation, unmarked trail, and transpersonal watchers. You're going to find yourself wandering through life, wandering through different paths and connecting with different souls and spirit wants you to be opened.
to receiving to also giving and to open yourself to these revelatory energies that I feel like you have already uh, opened the door to you're experiencing them right now please be the watcher please be the observer I always say that we are not our emotions and we forget that we identify ourselves with our ego with this sense of self, with our emotions, and we are none of that, okay? We're not our body. We are a fragment of source, okay? We're so much bigger than this body, than these emotions, than these earthly experiences. However, we are here to experience duality, the light and the dark, and you are doing a darn good job integrating these two energies and co-creating with the universe, manifesting, bringing in this beautiful sense of peace, bringing in a lot of resources, money, bringing in a lot of rewards. You are worthy of all this, Gemini. Keep going. Thank you so much for being here with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe once again. And I hope to see you back here at the Heart Space, beautiful souls. Until then, keep shining bright. Ciao.